Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. And evidently somebody wants to print this and just the, the dot part and was questioning how you do that. And I could have played around with it a little bit more and maybe got it uh, dead or on, but I played around with the dots. And if you see that some of the dots go into oblivia, and that might be they're just gone or they turn into the original color. But I did it with white dots, turning them into blue. So they kind of, you know, if you cut this out um, and, and change the sizes, I made them a little bit bigger for the video. These are little bitty dots. But it was pretty interesting uh, kind of how I did it. And what we're going to do is just start over. So I'm going to take this color of blue. Let me get rid of this. And all I did, well, let me do, let me start from scratch. I took a rectangle, and I could have taken this shape, but for the video, I just took a square. And I've got it set on that color, but if you don't have it on that color, let me change this graphic to no fill. And then, so take a square and then take your smart fill tool and fill this in, but get a sample from your quilt or whatever this is and fill it in. I'm going to go ahead and take away the outline too and start. Then you kind of need to draw these circles and they're really a different color blue, but, and you could mess around with that. Um, Maybe I'll even make a second video on this. I'm trying to just go through this. Let's take a, let's go over to our graphic and just see how little these dots are. And we'll start off with one of the, maybe the bigger ones. And we'll use this one right now, holding down the control button to kind of make a dot. I would go ahead and change this to a hairline, even though they're so small that it's not gonna matter too much. And then I'm gonna take that dot closer to my deal and I'm going to fill it in with white. As you can see right there, I just left click white. I'm going to hit the plus key on my keyboard. I'm going to move that dot over. And if, if you put it right here, I really want no outline. So I'm going to right click no outline. It's hard to see them, but you've got them picked. Go up to effects and blend. And we're going to blend them 50 times and hit apply. Can't really see it because it, it's magical. So let's take a an ellipse and let's hit P, put it in the center of the page. And let's go ahead and put this in the center of the page. That might have messed with our, there's our blend. So now I'm going to make a new path and put it on that path and then blend along full path. And so now we have these dots kind of blended along. And we don't have no outline, but so I'm going to go to object and break the blend apart so I can get rid of my line. Now, they should be grouped together, but I'd go ahead and go to object and group and group them together. And then you can use, and this is pretty neat. I want to use that same color, but with the interactive fill tool, you can't use, you can't just pick the color. You have to make the color. And that's a color I probably don't have. So I'm going to take a rectangle. I'm going to use the Smart Fill tool. I'm going to go ahead and fill that in. And I'm going to move this color over to my blues. Now I have that color in my toolbar. I can get rid of this. I am going to grab this. I'm going to get the Interactive Fill tool. And I'm going to start from the bottom all the way up. And I'm starting with white because it's white. But I'm going to grab this blue and put it here. And it kind of makes them go into infinity because there's nothing there. And you can play around with the slide bar, making them less or more. And you, you know, in this one, they might even be a different shade blue. I'm making them white. So you could, you know, even though these are actually here, but you can't, you know, you, they're kind of just going away almost like these do. These just kind of go away or some out, you know, right in here. So I really think this is the way to do it with the exception of maybe making another blue 
that would be a little bit lighter than the white, and we can try that. Let's make a, let's fill this in with our color that we've had. But then we're gonna take it and we're gonna add a little white by holding down the control button and make it quite a bit lighter blue. So now we have a new color and we can bring it over here and we might have that color in our toolbar, but now we have a little bit lighter color. If we get this back and get the interactive fill tool again, there it is. Now we can take this lighter blue and take it to the top. And I think I'm dead on. You know, they look like they go into infinity. Now you've got this whole thing. I would kind of look at it and make sure it's object, group, and group. And it is. So grab it. Grab it, control D and make a duplicate. Holding down the shift key, make it grow. Control D. And some of these are, I think that's kind of it. You know, they might be spaced more apart and then they've been trimmed out. But I think that's what the person was wanting. You know, I maybe have more dots than they do. They can play with it and it might look good. You know, taking those clouds would be pretty easy to put clouds up here and, and make it a little more fainter because I've got, my dots are closer together. And, you know, that's just something, personal preference, how they're going to look at it. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.